Okay, the next cycle we talk about is nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen made up of approximately 78% of the atmosphere. So in other words, nitrogen, uh, you can find nitrogen in the air. Most of the nitrogen is actually in the air. And plant cannot use nitrogen gas directly as the nutrient. Um, so what, how, how, how does plant acquire nitrogen as a nutrient then? They use something called nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation is a chemical process that converts nitrogen gas into ammonium ion. So nitrogen fixation is a chemical process that converts uh, nitrogen gas into ammonium ions. And plant can absorb ammonium ions. And what carry out this uh, chemical process, nitrogen fixation? It is some cyanobacteria. Some cyanobacteria or some bacteria in the soil, cyanobacteria in the ocean or bacteria, some special form of bacteria in the soil, they can so-called fix nitrogen in this way. That means they can convert nitrogen gas into ammonium ion. And we have something called nitrogen fixing bacteria living in the nodules of, uh, of the root of the lagoon, lag, lagoons. Um, um, these are the uh, pea plants. Pea plants, um, they, the root, they have this nodule that contains this nitrogen fixing bacteria. It is another example of a sim uh, mutualism. So the nitrogen fixing bacteria will provide, will make ammonium. They will absorb the nitrogen gas from the atmosphere and then convert it into ammonium ion to provide to this uh, pea plant. And then the pea plant will do photosynthesis and provide glucose, food, to the bacteria. So it is uh, an, another example of neutralism. Other than nitrogen fixation, we have this nitrification. Nitrification is the production of nitrate. Um, we, we, have, we have two ways to make nitrate. One is that from nitrogen gas is converted into nitrate by high, by high energy lightning or meteor trail or cosmic radiation. So the Conversion of nitrogen gas to nitrate re requires a lot of energy. So it is not very common to have this to happen. And the ammonium ion in the soil can be converted into nitrate by nitrifying bacteria. So we have nitrogen fixing bacteria to convert nitrogen gas into ammonium ion. Now we have nitrifying bacteria to convert nitrate into ammonium ions. No, oh, no, no, sorry. Nitrifying bacteria convert ammonium ion into nitrate. Okay, that's what I mean. So you have nitrogen fixing bacteria to convert hydrogen into ammonium ion. And then from ammonium ion, the nitrifying bacteria can convert ammonium ion into nitrate. So um, the So what it does is that um, from the ammonium ion, the nitrite producing bacteria convert ammonium into nitrite, which is this. And then the nitrate producing bacteria convert nitrite into nitrate. So it is like a two-step process to convert uh, ammonium into nitrate. It requires two different bacteria to do that. In other words, from nitrogen gas into nitrate, you need three different bacteria and three different uh, chemical reactions. Denitrification. Denitrification is the conversion of nitrate back to nitrogen gas. So um, it is by something called denitrifying bacteria. Um, they said that um, these bacteria live in anaerobic 
a condition um, by converting the nitrate into nitrogen gas they uh, they provide their own energy and uh, um, they said that the denitrification counterbalance the nitrogen fixation well you as you know that um, in the nature everything is balanced like respiration is balanced by the photosynthesis uh, photosynthesis is also balanced by the um, external respiration similarly denitrification is balanced by nitrogen fixation and vice versa because nitrogen fixation takes nitrogen from the atmosphere but nitrification put nitrogen back to the uh, atmosphere human activities yes human involved in all kinds of uh, cycles they said that human almost doubled the nitrogen fixation because we make a fertilizer from nitrogen gas we take a lot of nitrogen gas to make fertilizer and the runoff of nitrogen and phosphate uh, we, have, we have a lot of nitrogen and phosphate dumped into lake and river because we overuse the fertilizer and it causes eutrophication eutrophication is like the um, excessive growth of the algae and it also overuse of fertilizer also contribute to the release of nitrous oxide gas which contribute to the greenhouse effect the nitrate oxide gas is not just a carbon dioxide gas but also nitrous oxide gas cause a greenhouse effect meaning increasing of the global temperature but also um, contribute to an exit rain which is even worse but not many people pay attention to exit rain why exit rain is worse think about this acid rain will change the pH of the ocean as well if the pH of the ocean is changed then all the aquatic animals they may die they will die not me they will die if the pH change and 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 if the if the ocean can no longer provide um, food can no longer produce food then all the uh, grazing food chain all the animal all the living organism living on the ground on the land they will also die as well because um, believe it or not the ocean provide majority of the food to us not the not the not the trees, not the land. The land they provide food, but not as much as the ocean. So this is the summary uh, diagram for the nitrogen cycle. As you can see, the nitrogen cycle involves the atmosphere, in, include the land, underground. Remember the um, um, uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, nitrogen fixing bacteria absorb nitrogen gas into to make uh, ammonium and then nitrifying bacteria convert nit ammonium into nitrite and then the nitrate uh, and then the oh, nitrate fixing bacteria uh, convert nitrite into nitrate and then denitrification denitrification um, convert nitrate back to the nitrogen gas and then um, during which it go through the uh, the ocean the ocean it also has this uh, bio biotic community that can uh, recycle nitrate uh, ammonium and the um, nitrate because we have cyanobacteria in other words uh, nitrogen cycle involves all three uh, component atmosphere, ground and also the uh, ocean so next video we will talk about um, um, a different cycle